I think trust is a really important issue. Uh, it, I think it has always been, but at the time being, it's even, even more important. Trust is really important right now because there's so much divisiveness in the world. So we're seeing conflict um, between countries, between people from different ethnic groups, and it's really hard for people to work together within organizations when they can't have conversations. They don't know how the, everything turns into an argument with people being wrong or right, with people being smart or not smart. I think we can't separate what's happening in, within and between organizations without looking at the geopolitical context, the cultural context, and we have a crisis of trust on, on that level. And so how do we navigate in that low trust environment and, and what can organizations and leaders do in organizations to help foster better trust in the, the broader context? In many ways, I think a lot of the problems in the world today with you know, polarization and, uh, and what have you really stems from people having a lack of trust. And if we can increase societal trust and maybe get people to trust each other a little bit more, perhaps we can move forward in a, in a more socially beneficial way. Without trust in government in particular, it's difficult to maintain democratic societies with free choice and voting for individuals. You know, trust is a precondition for being able to cooperate. We're ever more interconnected and ever more dependent on each other, which means that we need to work together. And, and trust is like, a, you know, the, the crucial ingredient that makes that happen. To be able to have a dialogue, to truly understand other people, and to collaborate the way you need for innovation and for organizations to function, you need a base of trust. So researching it and understanding how people can build that trust is really critical right now.